Now what I always like to point out in this room is these walls are original. That wallpaper, that dates back to the 1880s. Something turned off. To just have it turn off like that's kind of strange. And then it turns back on. There's a creepy axe on the ground. It's like the beginning of a horror movie. Oh, flashlight turning on. If a spirit's really there and a spirit's really wanting to communicate, it's not gonna matter when. It's gonna do it. Okay, if you're playing with the flashlight, can you make it go brighter? There goes the flashlight. 0 0.8, 0 0.7. Are you approaching me? Wow, okay, that's further up, 2.6. The melimeter calculates the electric magnetic field. And what it does, it'll go up in numbers when a spirit penetrates your little area. That would probably be the very first investigation I had, which was at a local bar. Um, it was the first time I really investigated, so it was kind of all new to me. And when I sat down to talk to the spirits, I was asking them to communicate, and I did give them permission to touch me. Well, at that point in time, I did feel a little kind of light feeling on my neck. Later on, when we played back the recording, we heard a voice say it was me admitting to touching me. I think a lot of people just haven't had the experiences. And so since they haven't had experiences, they don't want to believe in something that they don't know anything about. That's what my team's here for. Um, Tucson Ghost Society, we keep everything confident. We're gonna go in there with an open mind and you know, we're not gonna judge anyone. 